Agriculture remains the mainstay of India's economy, generating employment for approximately 60% of the total workforce and feeding a population of nearly 900 million. India generates about 250 million tons of agricultural produce every year. Besides food products, the agricultural sector also generates a large bulk of waste, which reaches nearly 400 million tons annually. This agro-waste is either used directly as fuel in low-efficiency furnaces or simply burnt in open fields, thus foregoing a vast source of renewable energy. On the other hand, demand for energy continues to rise with increasing economic and industrial growth. Industry, which is the principal consumer of energy, demands half the total requirement in India. In order to sustain industrial growth, there would have to be greater use of alternative sources of energy. Some units like this one are manufacturing fuel briquettes from agricultural waste. Located in the rural belt of Tamil Nadu, this plant is close to the sources of agro-waste. The raw material, such as tapioca stalk, coffee husk, groundnut husk and rice husk, is purchased from cultivators in adjoining areas. This helps in keeping the cost of production low since there is substantial saving on transportation. The biomass, which is available in various sizes and composition, is dried and compacted under high pressure to finally shape into uniform cylindrical blocks, which can be used as a substitute for coal, lignite or firewood. As compared to coal, they are cheaper by 20 to 25 percent and are preferred over lignite or firewood because of better quality and easy availability. Apart from tea plantations, one of their first users is this hotel in the town of Tiruchirappalli in Tamil Nadu. The briquettes are used in the hotel's kitchen to generate steam as well as fire their ovens. The use of agro-waste briquettes could spell a new beginning not only by converting large bulks of agro-waste into energy, but also by saving national foreign exchange reserves spent on fuel imports. <laughs>